Good evening and Eid Mubarak from digital address number GA006-6714 Kanda. This is News 360 coming to you from John Hammond Street. I am Issa Moni. And I am Portia Gabor coming up the headlines. TV3 News broadcast a news item last week Sunday on Desmond Abrifa, a 32-year-old restaurant owner and prophet who claimed to have found remedy for COVID-19. Well, Desmond has provided samples of his herbal medication to the Center for Plant Medicine Research at Mampong Ikiapim in the Eastern Region to prove its efficacy. My name is Prophet Desmond Abrifa, and I'm here to introduce a miracle uh, helps for COVID-19 coronavirus. On Sunday, May 17, TV3 News aired a news item on 32-year-old prophet and restaurant owner who claimed to have found a herbal remedy for COVID-19. I saw a man sitting down and he said, you are asking me something. What is that? And I said, oh, uh, I need the vaccine of coronavirus. Then he said, okay go to the bush so i saw a forest over there and he said go there i took a uh, uber yeah to um how do you call it amasamai area there then i go and look for this particular leaves his remedy has not been scientifically proven to be efficacious against covid 19. after much prompting desmond agreed to have samples of his medication tested at the center for plant medicine research at mampon his first port of call was the drugs analysis unit where he submitted 10 samples of his product for analysis. I'm here to present uh, the medicine for COVID-19 coronavirus. Have you preserved the sample? Or it needs to be preserved? We've not done it. So this is a raw um, Okay. Please. Because you have not preserved, we will keep it in the refrigerator so that it doesn't go down. Yes, please. For the individuals who bring for COVID, we try to take all their details, their information. First of all, we look at the normal of the samples. So we, re we receive 10 and then we make sure they are labeled. If they are not, then we have to take all their details on the sample. Before one can present herbal medication to be tested at the center, it must be labeled clearly with the product name, indication, dosage regime, and company address. Desmond, however, has not done this. He was, however, allowed to go through the process. Samples of Desmond's herbal remedy now have to be coded and distributed to other laboratories at the Center for Plant Medicine Research for further testing. His is a decoction. So the first thing we will do is to get rid of the water that's in his product and we get a powder that we can easily quantify and use for our experiments. Okay. So the very first experiment we will run on Dexmon products is to make sure that it is safe and we use laboratory animals for that. We don't want to risk giving a product like this to humans. So we check if the product will have any effect on the immune system of the animals. Then from there, we check to see if it has any antiviral property. From the beginning of the process, if Desmond's product like, passes through all these stages, then um, it's worth following. Desmond has to wait for a month to know whether his herbal remedy is indeed efficacious against COVID-19. TV3 News will update viewers on the outcome of the test.